Hello everyone, this is keynote speaker number six, dedicated to the memory of Lucy Maya and Rina D. The last keynote that we say on the night of Tisha B'Av starts with the words, An Ada Until when will there be eulogies in Zion? Until when are we going to cry on Tisha B'Av? And we end the keynote with, Terachim Tzion Kasher Amarta, have mercy on Zion, like you said, and rebuild it. Built into Tisha B'Av is not just mourning for what we lack, but rather knowing that this day is going to change. This entire three-week period is going to change. We have a very clear prophecy in the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, that says that Hashem said to Zechariah that the four fast days that were on our calendar and is on our calendar, the Fisha as we say in Hebrew so far, namely, Shiva Sarbatamus, Tisha B'Av, Tzom Gedalia, and Asar B'Tevet, will turn into no less than Sason Usimcha Umoadim Tovim, days of proper holidays, namely, Tisha B'Av will be a proper holiday, not just a happy day, not just a day where you wouldn't give eulogies, but rather a day that will be a proper yomtif. From this perspective, in Tisha B'Av itself, not only do we mourn for what we lack, but rather we look forward for what we're going to get on this day. Thus, it's called a moed, and because of which, we omit tachanun and a few other things, seven in number, that ultimately say this day will not stay as a day of mourning and fasting. This day will turn into a day of happiness and feasting. That's probably the reason, amongst many, why there's a machloket if young kids have to be educated to this particular morning. Young kids are educated to do mitzvot. As soon as they're old enough, we teach them to make a bracha, wear tzitzis, daven, etc. You have to educate them to Tisha B'Av, to the three weeks, to the nine days, or not. It's a difference of opinion. Rav Moshe Feinstein seems to say yes, and yet Rav Nachum Rabinovich, from former Rosh Hashiv of Ma'ale Adumim, says no. And his reasoning? Because this period will eventually turn into happy days. And if you ultimately educate your children to the morning, then what you're basically saying is, eh, it's always going to be on the calendar, eh, it's always going to be a tish above the way it is. Therefore, at the end of the keynote, we make it very clear, until when, we ask God, is these days going to remain the way they are? Because you've promised us that indeed these days will turn into days of feasting, of holidays and whatnot. And thus on Tisha B'Av you have to be very balanced. You have to mourn for what happened. You have to indeed look at the current situation and say, what do we have? What do we lack? But you also have to look to the future and say to yourself, this will not always be what will be. What will be will be better.